Excellent! So last week I posted a video where I did a bunch of cleaning and organizing in my garage and my house and one of the things that I spotted that I needed to find something good to do with was my old laptop, my G73J ROG laptop from Asus. I've had for a very long time, it's done so much good work for me, but Jenny recently contacted me and said, hey, I had my laptop die and I was like, awesome, I have a good home for this. So. Jenny's in Las Vegas. You may recall me actually traveling and delivering her a computer in the past. I was gonna ship the laptop and then I thought to myself, you know what, maybe there's another option. Uh, completely unrelated, I have been kind of wanting a truck lately, uh, largely to do a lot of the work on the house that I've been talking about that I mentioned on the channel and being able to go and get large pallets of wood and that kind of thing is very convenient. Also, I like trucks. I used to have one and I don't anymore. So I started looking for the truck I wanted and specifically I decided on a Toyota Tacoma. I wanted a manual, a V6 and uh, a few other specifics and specifically the manual was very hard to find. I had to look nationwide pretty much and eventually I found one in Colorado. So specifically found the truck I wanted at Barbie's Freeway Ford in Boulder, sorry, in Denver, Colorado. And over the past couple days worked out financing with my credit union and booked a flight yesterday, flew out this morning on a very early flight at about five o'clock a.m. Uh, I actually, it was a very inexpensive ticket. It was only about $124 uh, to fly United. I used their super budget package, which meant I wasn't allowed to bring a full size carry on or, or whatever, but it was fine. They treated me like a human and I didn't have to like, I even got a window seat, which was nice. Uh, so a pretty uneventful and quick two hour flight this morning, a quick walk through the airport, a quick lift ride over to the dealership and I got my new truck. It all happened very quickly, but now I'm on my way back to California. I'm attempting to do this entire trip in one day because I have nothing else to do at the time besides drive and listen to music. I am going to make a little video of it too. And that's what you guys are watching right now. Hopefully this intro hasn't taken you too long to get to where we're at. There's my new truck. It's probably pretty windy right now, so I'm not sure how good you can hear me. But it's gray, and I didn't even know it was going to have the shell on the back. That just kind of came with it. But I had to scoop it up quick because uh, the few of these that I found have disappeared very quickly. Apparently it's a sought after vehicle. And that pretty much brings you guys up to speed. I am now traveling the 14 hours or so, the drive from Denver, Colorado, all the way back to uh, Southern California. I'm driving along the 70 freeway here through Colorado, the Rocky Mountains. It's a beautiful, partially cloudy day. There's snow on the mountains. It's actually looking kind of wintry here too, which is pretty cool. But I'm gonna get back on the road. I have a lot of driving left to do. I'll stop from time to time to stretch my legs, share some of the scenery with you guys, and, uh, and, and I hope you enjoy it. It's quite beautiful here in Colorado. I stopped to stretch my legs by White River. I'm pretty sure this is White River. We're near Hanging Lake. And I'm not sure. There's also something with the Grizzlies near here. I'm, I'm not feeling very safe, but I'm not sure if Hanging Lake is, the lake is hanging, or they hang people there, or if you just hang out there. Either way, I'm gonna get back on the road, okay. Uh, can I get one uh, chicken soft taco? Uh, one spicy potato soft taco? So I just crossed the Colorado River and things are starting to look less mountainous and more deserty. Uh, I'm almost to Utah. Also USC is winning the football game against Colorado, it's very appropriate. And I seem to have discovered bug country. Ah. I 
have to stop to clean that off. I've made my way to Las Vegas, you can tell because the gas station is apparently owned by Terribles. Actually, it's a Chevron. But look, I'm getting gas again. That's super exciting. On the plus side, I'm almost to Jenny's and I get to finally hand off this laptop. That's, that's the whole reason I'm doing all this, right? Probably. Look, it's Jenny's house. It's a really cool house in Las Vegas. I really like her fireplace. Uh, Jenny's here. Hi Jenny, I like rolled in on her at 10 at night, so uh, she made me promise <laughs> not to put her in the, in the video very much, but there's Sagan, there's a little, little, little weenie dog, and then there's Max down here. Max, Max, where'd you go? Are you camera shy? No, not at all. Not Can you sit? Oh. Can you sit and be a good boy? Good, good boy. Good boy. Can you look at Paul? Yeah, good boy Max. Good boy. Oh, he's so good. He's good, he deserves a treat. Yep. He's he, like, where's my treat? He brought me his favorite toy uh, just, just a few minutes ago, that was pretty awesome. So the G73J, there it is, and um, I told Jenny she has to promise to give me the SSD that's in there like years from now because it's a, it's a C300 and it's a good SSD. But also she's getting the Averki Beacon backpack because uh, this, this laptop is so big it only actually fits in like a couple different backpacks. So there's that. And then like this is what I was carrying around all day today. This is their power brick. Be happy that power bricks aren't this big anymore. So guys, mission accomplished. Thanks, Paul. Of course. Thank you, Jenny, for letting me stop by your place. <laughs> oh, I, hey, I the was... HTPC you dropped off last year. So oh, yeah. Here, That's so. right over there. This is becoming a tradition. <laughs> really convoluted means of delivering Jenny a new computer. Um, but I'm going to hit the road and head home. Uh, I've only got about four more hours to drive. I do have a full tank of gas, though, so uh, wish me luck. So as I drove on, it got dark, as it usually does at night, and I got less and less good at making video of my journey. That's okay, because I don't think any of my video that I made of my trip was all that great anyway, but that's okay, because I was driving, and I was, my, that was my focus, was driving. I'm back though, I'm back in California, I got my truck here, so I made it home safe. Uh, Saturday was a very, very long day. Uh, I did make it to Las Vegas. Uh, briefly met with Jenny, you guys probably saw that, handed off the laptop, and then drove the rest of the way home, made it home by about 2 a.m. So about 4 a.m. was uh, when I got up and left home, 2 a.m. was when I came back, so I guess it's about a 22 hour trip to get my truck, bring it back here. Uh, but I'm super happy with it so far, it's a work truck, it's got some wear and tear on it, but low miles, powerful engine, manual transmission. It also has manual transmission, of course. That was that was key. Um, but yeah, the, this is the end of this video. I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> Sorry, this has been a random weird video, but I'm gonna use my truck to do lots of things now. And uh, thanks for watching. Thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll see you back soon with actual tech videos again, and not just me driving across Colorado and Utah. Thanks for watching, guys.